Hey everyone, welcome to Post to Post. Thanks for joining me for this video. We're going to take a flight over Columbus, a city that I've never been to, a city that I would love to visit. It's got lots of history. I could probably spend an entire week there and learn so much. So it's definitely one of the cities on my bucket list of places to visit in the next couple of years. But I've not been there, like I said. I don't know what it looks like, especially from the air. I've never you know, transferred flights there. I've never flown over it low. I have no idea where it look, what it looks like. I have no idea where Nationwide Arena is. This is going to be an adventure trying to find it, but more importantly, trying to find Columbus Blue Jackets logos or posters or whatever. That's really the main goal of this. So we're gonna do a bit of flying over the city. I'm gonna try and find it. If I can't, I'll look it up. And then we'll uh, then we'll take a deep dive in drone mode, slow, methodical, around the arena, and look to see what we can find. We're in the F-18 today, as usual. You guys love the F-18, so um, I'll continue to use it. Let's get the afterburners on. Oh, I need to change. Uh, I need to change something here. Oh, that's not gonna work. My window is all screwed up. Okay, there we go. Much better. Sorry about that. Alrighty, so uh, okay, right away, obviously I see Columbus over here, unless there's another large city near Columbus. I don't think there is, so that's got to be it. That was very easy. <laughs> I actually don't know what Nationwide Arena looks like from above, but I'm, I mean, uh, arenas are generally pretty large, so I can't imagine it's going to be difficult to spot. And usually sports complexes and arenas are kind of clustered together in most cities. So if I see a baseball field or a football field or something like that football football field over there or that baseball field. And look at that. That's Nationwide Arena right there, I bet. That's got to be it. That definitely looks like it. I've seen pictures of it from like the side and stuff, but I've never seen aerial pictures of it. Let's get the flaps changed. We'll reduce our speed probably to about... 60 or 50 percent something around there our throttle that is and let's take a bit of a slower pass slower low pass over the arena here see if we can see anything oh i think i actually maybe have seen a logo there i think i did i don't think it was a clumps blue jackets logo but it was likely uh a nationwide logo or something so we're gonna bleed off some airspeed here a little bit we're a little high right now i wasn't anticipating that much getting that much altitude right there but we'll do a dive bleed off some airspeed again we don't want to stall it another slow pass see what we can see it's in the shadows right now so it's gonna be really difficult yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw a logo there. Ooh, a little low right there. Okay, let's bank off. Whoa, messy. Let's bank again without stalling. Start our turn. And then we'll go into drone mode here coming up. Take a close look. There we go. Perfect. I got to align for when we come out of this as well. I don't want to crash into a building. So, boom, perfect. Insert, drone mode, here we go. Okay, that, that's definitely a poster. It wasn't a logo, it was a poster. It doesn't look to be hockey related. It looks like an ad or something. So we'll kind of come in at this angle. That's all I see so far. Oh, that's, that. look at that. That's half of a hockey player right there. And I think someone in crutches, which is odd. Don't know what it says. Something about Easter or hipster? How to kill a hipster? <laughs> I, I don't know. But that is half of a hockey player. That is automatically a win, okay? That is a Columbus Blue Jackets home uniform. That's a win. Now, these maps are outdated, as we've learned. So, you may not see specific uniforms that are accurate or jerseys if we see anything ice hoss ice it looks like a puck on there oh down here we've got some something maybe a logo that looks like a tim hortons logo like the old one nothing on that corner really 
Looks to be a, maybe a banner down there. Ooh, I see another logo up here, actually. AEP Tower, that says. If this was called something prior to, like, whatever this was called before it was Nationwide Arena, if that it, if it was called anything else prior to that, I don't know what it is. That, there is Nationwide Arena, so this is the main entrance, I believe, right here. So no logos, no Columbus Blue Jackets logos, but it does say Nationwide Arena, so that's a partial win as well. And what's that say down there? Ugh, I can't read that. It's too hard. Too pixelated. So, I mean, we've we've already had a success in this video. I would say that, you know, the, the majority of, of the times we do these videos, which I guess we're halfway through the NHL right now. This is the 15th team that we've done. So there's 17 more to go. Uh, mo the majority of the time, we haven't found anything. Not a logo, not a poster, not a... Nothing. So even though this is just half of a player over here, I still got to consider that a win. There is hockey advertising, in a way, in Columbus, in Flight Sim. So that's a win, even if it is insignificant like that. Let's pop back up to the plane. And let's... Whoa, that was close. Let's fly our way around one more time and make an approach for that airport over there. And we're going to land because of, of all the positive comments that there's been on these videos, and there's been a lot, and messages and emails and stuff, I really appreciate all of that. Oh, what's that down there? That's weird. Uh, I really appreciate all those kind things that people have, have said and whatnot. Uh, you guys, you know, these videos don't get a lot of views, but um, the people who do watch them seem to really, really, really enjoy them. So I appreciate that. But one common comment or or a view, opinion, whatever, is people like watching the landings. So I always include them in the videos now because sometimes they go well, sometimes they go terribly wrong. And I never know how they're going to go because uh, self-admittedly, I'm not the best pilot. Look at that. That looks like a bit of a football field down there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not the best pilot. And uh, this... This air, specific aircraft here, the F-18, does not like to be flown slow. I think it's, you know, a typically landings are much smoother with a more experienced pilot involved. And clearly I am not that pilot. But we're coming in at a bit of an angle here. We're going to fix it with the rudder. Try and line ourselves up. Our airspeed's a little, a little hot. We're going to uh, we're going to cut the engines actually all the way off, zero percent throttle. We've we've gone the opposite direction here. The rudder is oh oh, what is going on? Okay, this is going to be a questionable landing. Hope you got your popcorn. Oh yeah, that was that was bad. I'm not even going to nope nope nope. We are doing a full abort. Full aboard. That was not good. I don't know if that translated well on the, on the recording, but the game like jittered and froze and stuff, and I lost the ability of control there for a second. That in combination to me not being a great pilot uh, made that landing very unsuccessful and very hard. So. I don't want to make it too easy on myself, though. Let's do a bit of a, an angled approach. Hot approach right here, right now. Let's see if we can dial this in. A little more aggressively and hope for no freezing. Okay, we need to come off the throttle big time here. Let's try this again. 4% throttle. Coming in. Change the camera a little bit. That probably would have helped us before as well. Cross your fingers. A little bit of rudder. Adjustments here. Adjustments there. More rudder. Oof. Wait, is my landing gear doing? Yeah, okay. Sorry, I had to make sure. Okay, we are way down this runway. This is not going to be great, but we're going to land anyway. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Off the throttle. Full brakes applied. 
Brakes, 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 brakes. Now we're going straight off the runway here. Yep, there's no chance. We're going straight off the runway. I can't allow it. I can't, I can't allow it. I must have a semi-reasonable landing for me to end this video. I can't not. So we're going to try one more time. Third time's the charm, right? Let's see if we can't do another aggressive turn here for the runway. This is not advisable. Okay, this is it. This is for the money right here. Throttle off. Approach, not great. We're crabbing in at the moment. Okay, compensate, compensate. Roll. Oh, took a dip there. Oh, why'd you rise? Why'd you rise? Good. Oh my god. Not good. Bro, what are you doing? Breaks, breaks, breaks. This was absolutely the worst landing attempt in any of these series, I think, so far. I don't want to go off the runway, but I can't turn sharp enough. Yeah, that's just, that's not good. We're going to have to redeem ourselves in the next video, I think. And that's going to be Carolina, which is the last team in the Metropolitan Division that we're going to do, which marks the halfway point of the NHL, which means we're hopping over to the Central, over to the Pacific, doing the final 16 teams in the NHL, checking out those arenas and those cities. It's going to be a ton of fun. I would love it if you could hit the subscribe button if you're not new and join us for those videos. And of course, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And after the NHL, yeah, we're going to do the other leagues as well. NFL, NBA, uh, MLB, and then hop over to Europe. Maybe look at some soccer stadiums and stuff. So I would appreciate your subscription if you're new. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Adios.